Capricorns, welcome to your heart spread. It's for mid-November. They're at the uh, Urban uh, Jungle uh, Studio here in Cancun, Mexico. Hopefully it'll be quiet. We have some work going on a couple houses away. I think they're taking lunch. It's good. Good time. Let me slip in a couple readings here. Otherwise, so peaceful and beautiful here. I love it. It's kind of cold this morning. I actually had to put on long pants. Crazy cold, guys. I don't know. I guess it's... I uh, can't even imagine. Now it's here last winter. Is uh, you know, on a really cold day, you might actually put on like a long you know, sleeve shirt or something. Or, you know, if they're, you can tell people on vacation because they're buck naked. They're running around naked. And if you live here a while or you're Mexican, you got like a hoodie on and a sweat suit. <laughs> and the tourists are running around going, woo woo, it's like so warm. I did definitely be the only ones in the water. Okay. Um, so I already shuffled, just putting a little energy on these for you. I just read the one on your mind, one in your heart, mid-November time frame here. Do check out the, uh, if you haven't, the Soul Family read. It's up uh, for the weekend. I did an individual read for everyone, so there's a cap read in there too. It may add to this. This is reading the one on your mind and your heart. Let's see what we got here. Hanged man. So this is your energy and around love and relationships the way I see it. And so here, uh, I'd like to see this just a timeout. In terms of love relationship, you might feel like you're kind of in a timeout, and you, you put yourself there. It's like I'm going to put myself in a timeout. Now, a lot of times with this too, um, it we do this because we know there's something not right. I think, like there's a red flag, we can't quite put our finger on it, and then maybe there we are trying to look at them different perspective. But it's mainly like we're, we put ourselves into this time out because we're kind of taking responsibility to figure it out which is a good thing about the hanged man i think you know and the moon now what is that that's your person coming in their energy in the round relationships well the problem is they don't even know what they want emotionally there's something in them that that may be what you're picking up on this would be very subtle now um like this could be a person that says uh capricorn i love you says i really want a relationship um God, I had this with a, a woman once, and uh, I told her after about six months, I said, I think what you want is a boyfriend. And I told you when we started, it's like, I don't really want a girlfriend, you know, I, want, I don't mind dating, but, you know, uh, I want a lover and a wife and a relationship. And um, so I'm just saying, maybe it's like that. Maybe they're saying, like, oh, I'm all in, I want this, I want that. But somehow, mostly, they're, they're not really um, in sync. There's something they're missing themselves. I wouldn't be surprised if you're picking up on that, Capricorns. Now, the way you're feeling toward them, though, is the King of Pentacles. That's very good. Let me see how they're feeling towards you, the Eight of Cups. Yeah. Uh, I got to tell you, I mean, they got the Moon and they got the Eight of Cups. Let me clarify that. The Ace of Cups. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. You just confused the shit out of me with that one. I'm going to stop there for a minute and think about it. That's a lot of emotions here, guys. They, there's something going on. They're in some kind of emotional turmoil. Uh, this could be an on and off again, on and off again thing. I typically read new relationships, but um, you're feeling towards them like the King of Pentacles. Maybe I hope that kind of what that is, is you're feeling strong and you're knowing your value. And, you know, uh, you know, but it implies to me that you're there for them. You know, it's like you're ready to be the strong one for them. And I hope the way this relationship maybe came about, they were maybe crying on your shoulder, maybe about another person. And then you fell in love with them, or maybe you had feelings for them. Um, and now you want something more. And I see them as being really indecisive. And if they haven't walked away from you, they will. And then I think with this Ace of Cups here, uh, clarifying, they're going to come back. So I don't know where it's going right now, um, and I don't think they know where it's going. So, but they have interest in you. I mean, it's like you know, yes, no, yes, no. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. No, it's actually just don't stop. It's not the don't, not the good part where it goes. Don't stop, don't stop. Don't. No, I don't think you're getting there. Um, high priestess, this is important, guys. This is your advice from spirit towards this relationship. Trust your intuitions. It's your intuitions the hangman's trying to get in touch with. 
exactly why you go into the hangman is so you can access your inner high priestess you know and you know um it's asking you to trust your intuitions because you you maybe you might know more about what it is they're truly dealing with than they do like you may have a better grasp not unusual for friends sometimes these kind of things with the moon are so subtle they elude us personally but a good friend or someone that cares about you knows you they might just see it's like transparent to them but it's impossible they, so it's right there we're like wow well, i don't see it right there can't you see it and they, we can't see it now this is look seven of cups guys they are so fucking confused and i think this is spirit simply telling them first of thing that has to happen here with your person caps is they need to just acknowledge the fact that they just don't know what they don't know and that they are confused and i think this goes deeper than either like some other person it's not like they're confused like oh i, I don't know if i want to stay with my ex or i want to be with this capricorn you know it's like they're really confused about their own sexuality uh how do they really feel about love and what does love mean to them it's that kind of confusion that ace of cups means a lot and it's like part of them i think wants to give you it sees something with you solid your king of pentacles and it wants to give you this ace of cups but it's like they don't know how to do it or something you know um, this could be too from like a severe lack of confidence you know um, getting really burned your person they could be like a cancer energy too and that's typically Pisces could be but someone emotionally very sensitive who got burned and is really having a hard time uh, bringing themselves back together uh, around love and relationships you know um, and they sort of see in you something that they like but it's so really I could say too it's not about you right now it's about them you're very stable you need to trust your instincts about this and preserve yourself you know in the long run but this is the advice from spirit for the relationship as a whole it's in the crux of the heart spread here it's a very important position almost more important than the outcome this is coming between the seven of cups and the high priestess Look, this is very simple. You have the High Priestess over the King of uh, Pentacles. If you're cross-watching, your Capricorn knows. And by the way, the King of Pentacles is Capricorn. So that's you being yourself, asserting yourself, um, which is very good. And if they, you know something that they probably don't know, you can offer them something that they don't have in some way. And with the advice from Spirit being the world, I mean, that's kind of a go for me. I think with the advice from spirit and maybe the reason you're in the hangman, the reason the high priestess is involved, because what do you got, the hangman, the high priestess in the world, is um, you see something here. You see like a soul connection here, Capricorn. I understand. And it doesn't mean there isn't, just if they don't see it yet. Also, classically, this could totally be a twin flame energy. Um, you're the activator and they're the sleeper. They're way, I mean, They've got the moon, the eight of cups, the ace of cups, and the seven of cups. I mean, they're sort of drowning in emotion. Um, one thing that they need to get a grip on is their emotions, you know. They need to get uh, become like a king of pentacles, or at least a king of cups. And this is the knight of wands as your outcome, and it's coming straight at you right over the world. You know, so I think, like, you're going to go for this. The knight of wands is coming between this king of pentacles and their ace of cups and their um, eight of cups and it's like so the heart wants what the heart wants and what you're going to decide is to really go for it and i can tell you it's very similar to the sadgery just now uh, the totally different cards but it's the same kind of outcome uh, this relationship's in your hands uh, you're going to be the active one uh, you're going to uh, you know initiate here um, and it could be some really uh, passionate energy that you're bringing to them you know, um, and um, I, I don't think this is not your person. They're just uh, really confused emotionally. Um, it's just some maybe just having someone that that looks into their eyes and says, "Hey, I, I see you in there. I understand. I, I know you're there. I care about you. What's going on?" It just hit me. This person's probably really beautiful or handsome, and people really don't see them, and they probably never have since they were little because they were a cute uh, child and everything. And um, it's like people attached to your person, uh, their projections, um, and uh, 
kind of don't that may be what they don't know maybe what they don't know is maybe they're an empath too comes to mind empath empath um, you know they don't realize how much they absorb other people's feelings and so how much they lose themselves emotionally because they may could Pisces come to mind more um, you know they might literally like lose themselves in the emotions of other people uh, to the point where they really don't know what they think and feel but I think what they're going to decide is they want some Capricorn here, guys. So let me know what you think of this. I appreciate uh, any comments. Uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell. Appreciate that. Thank you, guys. If you can think of somewhere to share this on any forum, please do. That would help me out.